Hello and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Abigail Karmalim bringing to you the Salation News across the globe. On Saturday, 9th October 2021, the vocal group Charmoni presented in Tivoli the world premiere of The Holiness of Sweetness, a musical show written set to music and interpreted by Rita Gentili, Sara Narzisi and Sylvia Narzisi with orchestrations by Giovanni Poitre Modi, who revisited in an original and creative way the story of Monsignor Giuseppe Cogneta, Bishop of Bova, Salesian founder of the Salesian Oblates of the Sacred Heart, whose cause for beatification was opened on December 10, 2020, after the consent given by Pope Francis. A live told through music, the true protagonist of the show, with seven songs aimed at enhancing the charism, fate and humble response to the test that characterized the difficult experience of Monsignor. Sister-in-law was slandered, dismissed from the Episcopal Order and removed from the institute he founded. The heads of the publishing houses of the South Asia and East Asia Oceania region met online on October 7th at 8 a.m. at Rome time. The meeting helped the heads of the publishing houses to get to know each other, to understand the work done by each Salesian publishing house, to put efforts in synergy and to share resources for the benefit of all those who are linked to the Salesian mission. This is an opportunity for us to share information, increase visibility and make ourselves known with our publications and our productions, said Father Gildazio Mendes, General Counselor for Social Communication, at the opening of the meeting. Then the General Counselor recalled that the products of the publishing houses must have solution quality and identity and invited all those present to have a strategy and a program to network with other publishing houses in the region and the world. Looking at the celebration of St. Francis de Sales, finally he invited publishing houses to work to publish books, calendars, posters and devotional aids. It is enough that you are young because I love you very much. This famous statement of Don Bosco has always been the guideline for the activities that Salations carry out within the Youth Counseling and Welfare Centre of the province of Kangwon. Last Wednesday, October 6, the statement resounded again on the occasion of the ceremony of transfer and new inauguration of the centre in its new headquarters. The centre is an organisation specialising in counselling and well-being for young people and was launched in 1993 to provide professional counselling services to adolescents, parents and youth workers in order to promote the healthy growth of adolescents. Among its flagship, the centre boasts a toll-free number dedicated to young people, 1388, which provides 24 telephone advice in order to help address and prevent young people problems, educate parents to dialogue with children and develop appropriate counselling programmes. There are four sons of Don Bosco with significant roles at the Plenary Council of the Church of Australia, defined by the organisers as the highest form of the meeting of the Australian local churches since 1937, as well as a fundamental stage in the journey of the Catholic Church in the country. The Plenary Council brings together representatives of all the local churches of the country in order to confront and debate to imagine together the future of the Catholic Church in Australia. The first session, initially scheduled for October last year in Adelaide, took place from 3rd to 10th October 2021 in digital mode. Among the Salations, the superior of the Mary Help of Christians Province of Australia Pacific, Father William Matthew, was called to participate as superior of a religious institute. Timothy Costello, Archbishop of Perth, has even been appointed President of the Plenary Council. Professor Francis Moloney participates as an expert, that is, an expert advisor, and Cardinal Charles Bo, Archbishop of Yangon and President of the Federation of Asian Catholic Bishops Conferences, FABC, present as an observer. In the first days of October, the councillor for the Africa Madagascar region, Father Alphonse Wodu, began the extraordinary visit on behalf of the Rector Major, Father Angel Fernandez Artime, to the Salesian Vice Province of Angola. The extraordinary visit, the first conducted by Father Wodu on the continent, began in Luanda, the capital of Angola, coinciding with the start of the academic year of the post novitiate, where the Salesian Higher Institute of Pedagogy and Philosophy, Sao Joao, Bosco is located. 
On Saturday, October 2nd, in the Basilica of Mary Help of Christians in Fardu Gora, the meeting of the Slations of the province of Rocklaw, PLO, and their parents took place. It was a special moment of common appreciation for the service of the Slations on the occasion of their anniversaries of ordination and profession, as well as for their parents on the occasion of their wedding anniversaries. At the actual mission of Kuyunsa, where Salishan Father Bola spent his last 30 years of missionary life and where is buried, the ordination of two permanent deacons was celebrated, Mashinka, Shirab, Chao and Timius UOT. In addition, the ministries were entrusted to two exorcists and seven ministers of the Eucharist. The ordination celebrated entirely in the rite and in the Achwar language was presided over by the Apostolic Vicar of Urimagwas, Monsignor Eusis Maria Aristin Sipi, accompanied by Father Diego Clavijo and Father Augustinus Togo, Salesian missionaries who accompany the Achwar people and animate the Achwar Intervicarial Ministerial Board of Formation Centre of Peru and Ecuador. Hugo Orozco, Councillor for the Inter-America Region, who was also present on a visit to the Slation Missions, Father Jose Kamza and the Slation Coadjutor Jose Galigo of the Missionary Community of San Lorenzo and Father Vicente Santilli. Along with them were four other permanent deacons who joyfully welcomed their new fellow ministries. The season of creation 2021 ended in the Slesian Vice Province of Myanmar with an online program of ecological awareness carried out on October 4 and led by Don Bosco Green Alliance Myanmar. Salesian communities, young people and members of the Salesian family from all over the country enthusiastically participated in the event, animated lively through him, video clips and speeches, in particular on the themes of Pope Francis' encyclical Laudato Si and on the message of the Rector Major Father Angel Fernandez Artimi on ecological education and spirituality. During the program, participants were invited to further engage both as individuals and as community for ecological sustainability in particular through the establishment of green campus programs and awareness campaign so that the different centres and their organisations can become educational models of care for creation. Nestled in one of the localities of Shillong named Maulai in Meghalaya, India, Savio Generate, a cradle of Salesian vacation, is all set to celebrate its 60th year of its existence on the 11th of October 2022. The year-long celebration of this aspirant date began on the 11th of this month with a con-celebrated Holy Mass led by the provincial of Salesian Shillong Province at Savio Generate Chapel to thank God for all his benedictions that he has showered on this religious institution that has produced for the vast majority of the present-day Salesians in the northeastern region. While delivering the homely during the Holy Mass, the provincial of Salesian province of Shillong, Father Paul O. Lingott, said celebration is a time to move forward to be closer to God, the church and the congregation. Father Lingott also said that celebration should be a time for all the members of the Salesian congregation to read and know more about Don Bosco. Turning his attention to the aspirants, Father Lingott made an ardent appeal to them to read about the patron saint Dominic Savio and also to emulate his example. After all, in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 22 verse 13 states, Many are invited, but few are chosen. Therefore, literal meaning of the word vocation is a calling. Vocation means calling. In the real sense, a vocation is a call from God. Each person's vocation is unique. So every vocation is unique. Since each one of us is unique, the vocation is unique. Because I too am a unique, I am very special. So each one of us is unique and also is special. Saint John Paul II, patron of our province, <coughs> said that one's vocation answers the question that each one of us should ask. Why am I alive? 
words of St. John for the second. Why am I alive? Speaking to the Silesian clergy after the Holy Mass, Father Lingot suggested holding the morning and evening Eucharistic adoration as part of the year-long celebration Savio generated for strengthening one's spirituality. The celebration reminisces the dynamic leadership of Reverend Father Anthony Alessi, SDP, who started the Savio Generate Esperantate on the 11th of October 1962 and canonically erected in 1964. Savio Generate saw the light of day as a result of the foresight, dynamism and hard work of Reverend Father Aloysius Ravalico and a man of great vision and optimism who thought about the future needs of the province. Again, this community needs more to know of Dominic Savio, the patron of this institution. Read more about Dominic Savio. And let us say, yes, I want to be another Savio. My dear boys, this is your bizarre in this coming year. 365 days. Really, you must every day say, yes, Lord. Help me to be like Dominic Savio, a boy with a will, a boy, a small boy who told the Bosco, the Bosco, I am a cloth, you are a tailor. So therefore, with your voice, this is young again to tell you that I must obey God, I must obey the church, I must obey the congregation and the superiors who are here, the representatives of God, the representatives of the church, the representatives of the congregation, the people also. So viewers, with that, we have come to the end of today's edition. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.